almost 50 years since the end of steam on British Rail, and the sight of steam engines at work can still be seen to this day. Some engines will of course never return to the main line as they are more ideal for heritage railways. Here's 5199 departing Klangoff 1 for Carrog during Steel Steam and Stars 4. at the rear of 5199's train was Great Western 4200 number 4270. Same railway and same weekend but different location. Another shot of 5199, this time arriving at Berwyn with a stopping train.
The station stops weren't sure to back then. It's just the cameraman who stopped recording. But it's not just heritage railways where you can see steam engines at work. Rescued from Barry Scrapyard in 1972, number 45690 Leander is now based at Carnforth Motive Power Depot in Lancashire. She's seen here crossing the famous Ribblehead Viaduct in August 2015 while working a Waverley Rail tour heading towards Carlisle. These tours are open to the public, but not daily commuters, as tickets for these have to be booked months in advance. Unlike running on heritage railways, there are stricter rules in place, as all the style coaches need bolts on the inside of the doors, because of no central locking. Also, unlike modern coaches, Mark 1s have drop light windows, which means you can stick your head out. But since 2015, it's a requirement to keep your head inside when the train is moving. This footage was filmed with just my hand out holding the camera. My head was safely inside. The tour we're on board is January 21st's Winter Cumbrian Mountain Express, which ran from Manchester, Victoria to Carlisle via Sharp both ways. The loco working this tour was once again Leander. Leander is not the only Jubilee to have survived into preservation. Three other members of her class are also existent. These being number 45593 Colopur, number 45699 Galatea, and number 45596 Bahamas. Even in the 1990s, steam engines were popular on the mainland. Here's Bahamas around the rail area racing west towards Hollyhead in October 1993. After watering at Clandudno Junction as the troughs from the steam era have long since been dismantled, she is seen making her way towards the Conway Railway Bridge.
Because of how tight the clearances are between the train and track on the Conway Railway Bridge, someone on one occasion actually ended up getting decapitated. These next shots show what the public don't usually get to see. These shots mean on board the footplate of the Harmers while travelling down the North Wales coast. Presently undergoing an overhaul, it is hoped that near the end of 2017, this unique double chimneyed jubilee will return to steam. And that hopefully, one day, a similar scene with this engine will once again take place.
Even the sight of steam engines at night proved to be popular. Most steam tours take place in the day, but this trip in Christmas 2014 had Great Western Hall, number 4965 Rude Ashton Hall, work from Tisley to Chester for an evening's carol service. Same route and the same class of engine, but a different class member. This member being number 46100, Royal Scott. This tour was also her first trip up Shap in preservation. Until 2014 this route was unused by steam specials, but recently has seen a large use by steam tours following the temporary closure of the Settle and Carlisle line north of Armouth Way due to a landslip. Here's Royal Scott passing alongside the beach at Parton, making her way south to Carnforth. The Royal Scott we see in preservation today isn't actually the real engine. This is in fact 46152, the King's Dragoon Guardsman, masquerading as Royal Scot. The original Scot and the original King's Dragoon swapped identities in 1933, with Royal Scot taking the King's Dragoon Guardsman's identity and the latter taking on Royal Scots. we couldn't have her go unnoticed in this program. 
Rescued from Barry Scrapyard in 1981 and restored at Carnforth in 1998, Great Western Hall Class Locomotive No. 5972 Alton Hall was chosen by Warner Brothers to haul the Hogwarts Express in the Harry Potter films. She has caused quite a stir in preservation, running as a red hall with the castle's name. But her use in the Harry Potter films has made her unique of the 18 halls to be preserved. If you thought steam locos were only standard gauge, well, you got that wrong. The Festiniog Railway, a former slate carrying railway, ran for 13 and a half miles from Port Maddock to Blenheim Festiniog. Here's the Earl of Merionoth leaving Blenheim Festiniog with a passenger service towards Port Maddock. The gauge of the Festiniog Railway alongside the Welsh Highland Railway is 1 foot 11 and a half inches. Standard gauge trains run at 4 foot 8 and a half inches. We'll end with one final shot of Rude Ashton Hall departing Worcester, heading back to Tisley with the Red Dragon on Saturday 7th of March 2015. Thank <laughs> you.